Microsoft has recently announced the public preview of OData API in Azure API Management. In this video, we will understand what is OData API in simple terms. How Azure API Management can help in better managing OData APIs. Then, we will do a quick demo of how to import OData API in Azure API Management. Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I do blogging and make YouTube videos on .NET and Azure. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Let's get started now. Let's understand what is OData API. OData or Open Data Protocol is a standard protocol for building and consuming RESTful APIs. Think of it as a set of rules and conventions that allow us to retrieve and publish data over the web. To put it in simple terms, OData makes it easy to share and manage data across different platforms in a consistent way. Now, where OData stands out is in its unique way of querying and posting data. For example, you can be super specific by using simple expressions to access data you need. For instance, if you are curious about books written by JK Rowling, your data query might look like this. And if you want to see only first five books by her, you can further refine it like this. Or let's say you want to add a new book to this collection. With OData, it is simple as posting books details to a URL like this. The beauty of OData is that it is tailored way of communicating. You are not just talking to a library, you are having a detailed conversation pinpointing exactly what you want to know or do. Now, with added OData type in Azure API Management, Azure API Management can secure and manage your OData APIs. It can secure them with standard API protections such as authentication, authorization and rate limits. You can apply and make use of all existing access policies. And moreover, a new OData validation policy has been added to protect your OData APIs. An important point to note here is, this is still in preview. Currently, testing OData API is not supported in test console of Azure portal or in the API management developer portal. It supports OData version 2 or version 4. Now let's jump on to the demo. I'm in my Azure portal. I already have Infecto API management service created. Go to APIs. If you see here, here we have a new OData type from which we can create the APIs by importing OData API definition. Let's do that. Click on OData type. Here we have to give the OData specification. Uh, for demo purpose, we're going to use the sample Northwind OData specification. This is a test one. And you would usually find the specification in dollar metadata. This should give you the specification, not to any entities. If you want, you can quickly browse this URL here to see. So this is the OData specification document for the test OData service, which is on V2. And API URL suffix, you can say OData test API create. Now we have the API created from the Northwind entities. You can see here it has listed out all the entity set functions that are available with the API documentation. Before we proceed, one thing we need to do is we have to set the web service URL, the backend URL, which will be northwind.svc file. Just set that and click on save. That's all good. Now, if you go to the API policies, you can see the backend endpoint is our northwind.svc. Now, this is good to test. For testing purpose, you can test this in the portal. You can go here, for example, let's say um, customers, test, and just come here, pull all the list of customers. See, it has listed out all the customers. Now, let's test the same with the postman. So this is in facto API or data test API URL and we are querying for the customers. 
you just hit the send button and you can see the list of customer as we discussed before the beauty of odata lies in the ability to be able to query for the data through the url let's try to do that for instance if you want to look for maybe let's say select just company name and customer id just customer id and company name rather than all the properties here you simply say like you know select company name come customer id and hit send and it would give you only the customer id and company name and if you want to search for the customer whose id is for example this one maybe in that case you can do simply lfki and hit send it would retrieve that specific customer so with this you can front your odata api with azure api management and it brings in all the api management features to your odata api it can secure them with the standard api protection such as authentications authorizations and rate limits and even you can apply the existing access policy and moreover as we discussed before a new odata validation policy has been added to protect the odata apis let's quickly test that let's go to the api policies click on edit let's add a policy to validate the incoming request really quick let's add this incoming request validation policy here hit save now let's quickly test our api again let's hit a send yep this still works now just to test this one let's do a select here for instance let's select customer id and customer name and hit send so you just get the customer id and customer name now let's say if you simply do an invalid attribute here it would validate your data and return a bad request it would even say the property is not of the type customer so just to demonstrate purpose if you do the same without this policy let's delete this and hit save this is just to demonstrate so here in this case the request has reached odata api server and odata api server has to handle the request and respond back but whereas in previous case with the access policy the request validation occurred at the api management level and it has written bad request to the consumer that is it for this video i hope you like the content if you like the content please like share comment and subscribe i will catch you in the next video until then this is shri signing off thank you